Recently I put out the Breath of Life update for Rota, adding new characters to talk to, day and night cycle with dynamic lights, stars in the sky, clouds. The world is a lot more alive than it's ever been. <laughs> Let's rewind back to the character creation update, allowing you to customize your character and change your appearance. I took everything I did in this update and applied it to other characters, so now I can customize all these different characters and populate the world with them. I made this little dialogue system that is like a chat bubble from a comic strip. I juiced it up with this little text scrolling animation and little sound effects to mimic talking. I thought of other ways to make unique characters that are memorable and stand out from the player. You can see the very silly tree hats on the player's head right here. This led me to putting a candle on one of the characters' heads and calling them Candle Randall. It's very silly and a good way to make a character stand out and be memorable. I realized unique animations are another way to add variety to characters like this snowball throwing animation and it actually throws a ball that you can get hit by. After bringing these different characters to life I wanted to bring the world itself to life so I looked to the background where it's a bit flat and empty there isn't much going on. The sky needed some clouds to populate it, so I used the same polygon that I drew for these treetops as the polygon for each of these clouds right here. I placed them in random positions and rotated them around the scene as the day goes on. Here you can see when clouds overlap each other, they add their colors together and brighten up the background even more. Once clouds were in the game, I realized I could add falling snow from these clouds, so I made a little particle system that drops these little circles. It measures the distance from the cloud to the floor and sets that to be the lifetime of the particle. So it dissipates around the time it hits the floor. I realized I could do this for rainfall as well. So I changed the shape of the particle to be a little rain droplet. I changed the color to be a bit more blue and the speed at which the particles fell to be a lot faster. It took me a little bit before I got the formula right for hitting the floor with these rain particles, so you're gonna see them running through the floor for a little bit now. <laughs> with the world feeling more and more alive, I wanted to bring a dynamic day and night cycle to the game with the color of the sky changing based on the time of day. I iterated on these colors a lot until I found a palette that best suited the aesthetic of the game. Now that I had a dynamic day and night cycle implemented, I realized the night sky was missing stars, so I added this little star field here that rotates along with the sun and moon. Here you can see the lanterns turning on as it goes from day to night, and the stars in the background begin to emerge. And as I turned on these lanterns, I realized I need some dynamic lighting coming from the moon here, so you can see the shadows being cast through this narrow opening and changing the time of day. The moon is now over here casting different shadows. There is moonlight and of course there is sunlight. Here is some light coming off of the sun during the daytime. You can see how vibrant the colors become. At this point everything looked amazing. I'm so stoked with the transformation the game has taken. Although things were not running smoothly, the frame rate was halted to one third of what it could have been. And while trying to figure out the problem, I realized it has to do with rotating 600 clouds every single frame. <laughs> All of these clouds are parented to one node and I rotate this one center node. In each frame, it's now translating 600 children nodes, causing a lot of slowdown. This is when I learned about multi-mesh instance 2Ds and how you can save performance when drawing many copies of the same mesh. I wrote a little script to convert my Polygon 2D into a Mesh Instance 2D that could be used by a Multi-Mesh Instance 2D node. Instead of rotating 600 nodes every frame, I'm now only rotating 4 nodes each frame, and each of these nodes is a Multi-Mesh Instance 2D representing one of the layers of clouds. So you have the foreground layer, which moves at the same speed as the player, and there's three layers behind that moving slower as it goes further back, creating this depth effect. After solving this performance issue and getting the game running back at a reasonable pace, my friend Guy Unger wrote this little radial blur shader for cinematic effects. And as you turn around the corner, there's a little blur that goes on, something like you'd see in an action movie. <laughs> After implementing this feature, I messed around a bit and found different effects you could achieve with this shader 
This looks like you are on a peyote trip running through the desert here. It gets a bit psychedelic. <laughs> here I decided to juice up the menu a little bit. It once took up the whole screen, it would dim the image and pause everything going on. I now removed any pausing from the game, so when you open up the menu, everything is still running in the background. You can still see the rain falling. I wanted everything to feel alive, even when the player is taking a break. I went into the title menu here and did some similar improvements, making sure none of the text was clashing with the white clouds and giving it a little dark gradient behind anything you're currently interacting with. I felt very happy with how alive the world felt and I wanted to make characters feel even more unique and distinct. So I created this little tree climbing animation where you can talk to this player up in the tree. I also created this little bench sitting animation where this dude's jamming out here on the bench. I want each character to feel distinct from one another and unique. I did play around with making the treetops obscure light and cast shadows, although it made the world feel a bit too dark for my liking and I wanted everything to be much more vibrant, so I did not continue with this feature. Let's take a moment to appreciate the arc of this snowball throw. I did not plan this out. I made this animation before I even set up this world, so after plopping this character down, turning on the snowball animation, and watching it glide through the crack here was very satisfying to see. After adding so many things to Rota, I felt like wrapping up this update without adding one more thing. I wanted these doors to feel even more cinematic and rewarding anytime you unlock a new world. So anytime there is a new door to be unlocked, these gems will float up into the sky, combine to a larger gem and fill the socket opening the door. Every door takes a different number of gems to unlock, making each door a little bit unique of an animation. I wanted this animation to feel even more important, so time will pass at a faster rate while you're combining these gems to show how much energy it took to accomplish this task. It's a little change that goes a long way in the emotion of this animation. And this has been a little glimpse into the development process of the Breath of Life update for Rota. Feel free to get the game on Steam and Itch.io, it's available now. Rota is also open source on GitHub, check the link down there. I'm very thankful to contributor Neuropatty this month for submitting a pull request for physics interpolation. So anybody running the game on a monitor higher than 60 hertz can now experience smooth player movement. I'm really thankful for Neuropatty for bringing that to my attention and helping me understand how simple it can be. If there's anything you'd like to see changed about Rota, you can go ahead and clone the project and submit a pull request and maybe it'll get introduced in the next update. I'm curious to see what people do with the Rota source code. You have free reign to do whatever you like, so let me know. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch y'all soon, take care.